Hey everyone, good afternoon. I'm in the kitchen and I'm looking after some lobster. Yes, man, for dinner, Sunday dinner. And, um, so, you're welcome back to Reason with Steph. Here I'm cleaning my lobster. I'm showing you how I clean my lobster. I push the knife down the middle here and I cut the tail at the back. And if you know that there are meat, a lot of meat in the head here of the lobster. So, I'm also going to push the knife down here and I'm going to carry it down right through the middle. It is kind of hard, but I'm carrying it right through the middle. Here, yes. Yes, and even in this little part here, you have some meat. So I don't want to cook it like that, so I try to push the knife in it too. And I'm carrying it down. I'm carrying it down a little here. So this is how I prepared my lobster for cooking. So when we come back, you will see my preparation of how we cook the lobster here. All right, just remember to like and share and subscribe to my channel. So this is one of my tutorial that I'm showing you. And so if you couldn't cook lobster before today, you will be learning. I don't have a lot of things that I would need to cook it, but I am going to cook anyhow. All right, when we come back, you will see how I clean my lobster. <music> So I'm going to use this that I cut from here and I'm going to try to take the feces out by pushing it up about halfway and I turn it and then I'm going to pull it out yes and see here it comes right out so because I cut it before now so I am going to remove the meat from the shell so you, you are able to open it without it cutting you or anything to remove the meat from the shell here. Yes, man, you see all this meat fat and nice and juicy. And in the head of the lobster here, the intestine, see there? So you make sure to get the intestine out of the head there. Put a lot of meat in the head and you wash it out. Make sure to wash it out properly. So I wash my lobster and here I'm going to put it aside now. Putting it aside. And this is the intestine in the head. Of the lobster, make sure to clean that out. So you have a lot more meat here, but you have to get the intestine out first. So I'm getting out the intestine and I'm going to be washing this off to show you the amount of meat that will be left in the head of the lobster. Nice piece of lobster flesh. Here. 
first of it. All the intestinal. You don't want to cook that with all that intestine in it. See? Here, have a nice piece of lobster again, see? And in the, up here in the lobster, again, the, the little antenna there, you can find some meat. It's hard to get it out when you cook it like that. So what I try to do is to break it and get it out from now. So I won't have to fight with this when I cook it. So here I'm getting I cut it already but you have to mind you cut yourself with it because I don't want to get a cut or a juke because it's hot. I don't want it to bore my flesh, you know. So here, cut it out. And you know the lobster um, shell tough. Alright. So I'll get this from it. So here now I remove it the meat the little meat from the antenna here see yeah a lot of meat coming from it see it yes see it there let me wash this up nice piece of meat see it there yeah nice piece of lobster Here now is the little feet of the lobster down here. A lot of meat is in this part too, so I don't throw it away. I cook it and also cook it normally in soup or so. Don't throw it away though. And I will cook it, so I try to get as much from my lobster as possible. And after I clean up my lobster, I make sure to clean up my hair because it is raw. So I've got my bleach over here ready to clean my hair. So this part of the lobster, you notice that I'm still cleaning up and washing off. I have a lot of meat, so I'm not going to throw it away. I'm just cleaning it up. I have already three done some before, but I wanted to show you how I go about preparing it. So here I finished preparing this. So here I finished looking after my lobster and I don't see it as yet, but I'm making sure to clean up my area before I do anything else. So here I add some bleach and I'm getting some soap for my water. All right. So I get my bleach and soap water and I'm cleaning up what I used. I'm making sure my area Get a lot of cleaning. I don't want any raw sin in the kitchen after I am finished here. I must not smell the scent of the lobster or anything that I on anything that I was using. So I'm making sure to clean up my area with bleach and soap water. in a little of the raw bleach here because here is was is where I burst the lobsters so 
I want this scent to go. So I'm making sure to clean it properly. And then I am going to be preparing my lobster for cooking. So today I'll be doing lobster and fish. I'll be doing lobster and fish and I'm cleaning up my area because I don't want to have a dirty area while cooking. And eat when you're in the kitchen and cooking, you must always clean your area. Always clean up after you look after the meat or the fish. No, I'm doing lobster and I'm doing a little fish too. So you I'll be preparing my fish also. So because I am not quite through yet. And I'm going to prepare my fish. I'm going to look after my fish too for cooking. I'm not going to throw my soap water away. So, and I'm going to use this area one more time. My fish is pretty clean. And I'm going to get my fish to finish clean, cleaning them now. So... So this is my fish that I'll be looking after today, see? So I'll be slicing this fish along the line for pipette preparation. So here I'm getting my cutting board to go ahead and slice my fish. I really don't know what I'll be doing with it yet. I'll just fry or what. But here I'm preparing my fish. I'm going to slice my fish. So my fish is already clean up. But I'm making sure that I get all the things getting on my that I don't really need in my fish like this the correct thing here. So it is pretty clean. But nobody can ever clean anything for me without me re-cleaning those little bloodline must come out I think it won't let the fish taste proper so i'm washing we are turning my tie and i'm washing this out here so it doesn't look as bad as it was before so i'm going to be slicing my fish i do hope my knife is sharp enough to slice my fish. My sons were saying I must be lazy, but the knife is not sharp enough for me to fillet the fish today, so I'm slicing it. Uh, yeah, so I get a good slice here. But to continue to slice my fish, and then I'll give it a next wash. cutting board so today I'm doing fish and lobster for dinner preparing my Sunday dinner wow the knife is not sharp enough at all but it is cutting it is doing fine ah. So it ripped right through here. And I'm going to be preparing my lobster with a little maggi season. My fish and my lobster using my maggi seasoning. You will soon see. there and I love fishing bad 
So you can eat everywhere else and the fish, but give me my fish head. I don't know what I find in there, but I love my fish head. So here I'm cleaning up my fish head properly. Because I will be eating my fish head. I'm going to get a next nice slice from here. And then I'll leave the head part. Right, so here we go. So I am washing up my fish now. Here we have our next one. Don't know what this one name either. But I am preparing fish for dinner today, along with a little lobster for my family. I might just fry these and put them away with some pepper and vinegar. Right. All right. So see, I cut my fish in two here. And I am going to be washing them properly. them properly and then I'll be seasoning them for cooking nice piece of fish tail a lot of flesh this is my fish head that I don't want to throw away so I'm washing my fish properly. Proper washing of your meat and fish and vegetables is good hygiene. Very good. So proper washing of my fish. Now I'm going to clean my area up. So I'm going to wash my sink with soap and water with a little bleach and then I sanitize it. Alright. So catch you later. So here I am preparing my lobster and my fish for cooking. Now I have already cleaned my fish before and my lobster and I'm draining the excess water from these. So I don't want any water in the, the thing. So I'm draining it from the lobster and I'm going to season my lobster with, as you can see, a little chicken. Maggi chicken and Maggi all purpose here, and a little Maggi jerk that I've already added to this. And I am going to sprinkle a little on my lobster. Yeah, so, and I'm mixing it in, let it marinate, 
well on these now right so it's going to marinate here and you don't need any salt because the maggie season already has as much salt if you put add salt to this you might salt the pot so um no here seasoning my fish i've put them to drain and now i am rubbing in my muggy seasoning on them my fish that i love so much here so here i am Rubbing in my season, I'm going to leave it now to marinate for a while so it will soak in. I'm cutting here that I can because that the, the season can marinate in between here so when i am frying my fish the seasoning already marinating it all right so it will taste nice Nice and fleshy fish. So here. So here I season my fish and I season my lobster here. So I'm going to leave these now to marinate for a little while. My excess seasoning I will pour back into a bottle and I'm cleaning up as I go along. Alright. So make sure to clean up as you go along. Covering for them to marinate, and I'm going to clean my area. So I'm cleaning my area, washing what I use, and I'm cleaning my area. You leave it to marinate for a little while maybe 20 to 30 minutes and then you can go ahead and cook all right i am going to be preparing my green seasoning now for my lobster and i'll show you it in a little while what i am doing now we are preparing our lobster in my pot on the fire, I'm going to be adding some butter. I'm trying to do garlic butter last today. So I'm melting some butter. I normally use two butter but I only have one today so I'm going to use what I have in my bowl here I have different I have onion I have kellyan I have sweet pepper you call bell pepper and I have hot pepper and I'm going to saute these in the butter with garlic so garlic is also in this 
So I pour that in the pot and I'm sorting. I am going to add a little coconut milk too to this dish. I think the coconut milk will give it a nice flavor. So my my seasoning is being sorted in a little butter as you can see here and as I said before I have my sweet pepper that one you call the bell pepper I don't want any of my butter to waste the bell pepper a little hot pepper some scallions some onions and garlic and I tell you it smells so nice I would like you to be in here to smell, to get the smell of this. Mm. So I'm making my, I don't have the real coconut today, so I'm using a little coconut powder. So I'm going to make my coconut milk from my powder, coconut. And as this saute, okay, I am going to be adding my lobster, which was already seasoned. Wow, it smells nice. It smells nice to see people. Smells so nice. And here I'm going to be adding to my coconut milk. And I'm going to leave cover and leave to simmer. Getting all my coconut milk into my pot, and I'm going to leave this in the butter and season to simmer for a while for, for about 10 to 15 minutes, and I think by then it will be ready. I'm going to cover here, I'm covering. And I'm leaving to simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes. Over here, I'm cooking my peas and for my rice and peas. So here I had some scallion thyme and green pepper along with my peas. And I'm going to be adding my rice shortly because that already cooked. I just want to get the flavor from the seasoning in the pot and then I'll be removing the thyme, scallion and pepper from the pot and add my rice. Alright? So I'm looking back now at, I leave my kit to simmer, simmer for about 5 minutes now. And as you can see, wow it smells so good people. It smells so so oh, nice. I would like you to be here to taste this. And it's not only smell nice, you not think it tastes nice. The coconut milk bring up a lot of flavoring things. Yes, man. I'm going to taste this and see how it tastes. Mmm, wow. Tastes nice, you see, people? Tastes tastes just as how it is smelling so we'll come back again and have a look at it in the next five minutes 
So here we are back and I've already add my rice to my pot, my coconut milk. And I remove the seasoning from the pot. Over here, see? So I'm going to leave it now to simmer. So I'm going to cover and leave to simmer. Here. Wow, if you look in the pot now with the lobster, so pretty. Now I think it comes down to what I wanted it to be, so I'm going to turn my heat off from under it, all right? And I'm going to get to doing my fish now. So I turn my heat off and I want this burner at the front here to use now. So I am... Uh, Removing the pot from the front burner or I might just use that back burner which is a little higher to look about my fish All right Over here, I'll be putting in some carrot to boil to make some carrot juice So I'm going to blend some carrot to make my carrot juice over here. Just turn the fire on. I'm going to add a little salt to that water. You know, salt gives everything flavor. So I'm not going to add a lot, just for flavor. Just for flavor. I think that's enough. already prepared my carrots here and I'm going to put it in the pot to boil so over here I add some hot pepper to my oil for frying the fish and I'm adding a little garlic too the hot pepper Give the oil flavor and the fish flavor. I'm going to be taking out my rice. Oh, this is coming on quite fine. I'm using a fork to mix the peas in. And I'm going to leave now to steam. I'm going to leave my rice now to steam. Here I burn the pepper in the oil over there. You see? Now I'm going to be adding my fish because my egg is hot so i'll be adding my fish to fry and i learned that when you add fish to hot oil for it not to stick to the pot you move it around in the oil so it won't stick So I think it can hold up, I think, three pieces here. So I'm adding three pieces. And as you see, I turn my fish so it won't stick in the, the pot while it is being fried. So I'll move it around in the oil so it won't get it to stick. So I'll come back so that will stay there and fry for a while. And then we'll come back and turn them. So we are back and here you can see that one side of the fish gets colored brown and we are turning for the next side to fry, to cook 
Bye, frying. So one side is brown already and we are turning over for the next side to be brown. Here I'm turning this one. And we are going to leave again for it to brown a while. So now we are back again and we are checking with our fish and we see that both sides now are brown. So we are going to remove it from the pot and here is where what I'm going to do. I'm going to be putting, putting the fish now on a piece of napkin for the excess oil to drain from it. So here I'm going to get the excess oil to drain from it. I'm going to be removing the pepper. They are brown, burnt from the pot. And I'm going to be adding now some more fish to fry. So here now I add two more pieces of fish and as I said, you must move them around in the hot oil so that they don't stick and you will have it hard to remove them when they are fried. So for them not to stick, you move them around in the hot oil from one side to the other. See? So in the end, we will have it easy to remove them from the upper. All right. We leave that now to fry again. When it cooks, we will come back when it is fried. So as you can see that one side of the fish was fried and cut its color and we turn them over to the other side here in the pot. And we'll wait for these to fry and then we'll remove them from the pot. So it must get a golden color like what you see here. So now we'll remove these from the pot because it gets the color, the desired color, the golden brown that you wanted. And we'll put it again to drain on the napkin. So you see we don't have to fight it to get it from the pot. Why? Because we, 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 we push them to and fro in the hot oil before when we add it to the pot. So because we did that, now we have it easy to remove it from the pot. Now we are going to add two more pieces and that's it. And here again, as I said before, to make it not stick in the pot and make it be easy to move, we move them to and to in the hot oil. And you're going to use that again to get golden brown on one side and then you turn it to the other side and golden brown and we remove them from the oil. So you finish frying your fish and you now want to make your little gravy or your your sauce as you say it i will drain some of the oil that i used to fry the fish from the pot and now i'll add some tomatoes some pepper some onions and some garlic and bell pepper in my oil on the fire I'm going to stir I'm going to add a piece of butter so here I have half cube of butter 
but I don't want the full half so I'm just going to add a quarter of this in that I'm to stir again Now I'm going to add back my, my fish that I want to saute in the gravy. But as I said before, we want some of the fish to eat fried. Now I'm going to add a little water to this. So here I'm adding a little water and I'm leaving to simmer. So this is going to simmer now to make my gravy. So I'm going to cover and make simmer. <coughs> so here is my fry fish and you notice the excess oil soaked away in the napkin here so it's good that you drain your fish when you fry them all right when we come back you'll see the finished product there here i'm just going to add a little ketchup to this not a lot just a little just to make the gravy a little thicker cover back my pot and here I'm, at, I'm using the chins ketchup, so no special ketchup. So let us go back now to look at what is happening in our pot. Yes, and it looks as if it is come now to what we want it to be, our sauce. See? Oh, 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 thick it is now. So we give that about uh, next minute or so. Just let it go down a little more. Let me taste what it is like. And then we... Wow. This is good also. So, we give it about two minutes to let it go down a little more. And then we turn the fire off from underneath it. Then you will see our finished product and how we plate this. So here is the finished product now, dinner. So a piece of fish with a piece of lobster, some vegetable, some rice and some pasta. And a glass of carrot juice, see? So this is dinner. This is how I choose to plate my dinner this evening. Have yourselves a wonderful evening. And I do hope that you learned something in the kitchen this evening. Reason with Steph.